Ladies and gentlemen, señoras y señores, les presento la, uh, las mujeres de retiro de, de AXE en español del 2024, 23, perdón, ya yo estoy un año adelantado. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the ladies, the women from the AXE retreat for 2023. Uh, if you can form forward, they have a gift for all of you. Um, so they're going to present themselves to you in just a minute.
¿Quién vive? Y a su nombre. Y a su pueblo. Y a María. Dios es bueno. Todo el tiempo. Tres veces amén. Amén, amén, amén. Y un aplauso al Señor. Good morning, and welcome to St. Vincent de Paul Parish, a community united in faith. Our celebrant for today is Monsignor Bill and Deacon Gus. Please silence your cell phones. In today's Gospel of John, Jesus offers encouragement to his disciples. He reassures them that even though he will leave them, he will not abandon them. Instead, he will send them the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, through whom the disciples will continue to live in union with Jesus. Just as the first disciples were not left orphaned, we too are not orphaned. On this sixth Sunday of Easter, we remain in God's embrace through the gift of the Holy Spirit. In a moment of silence now, let's remember we gather as one body to pray the great prayer of thanksgiving that we call Eucharist. Our opening hymn is Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, in the worship aid and number 949 in the gather hymn. Please stand.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bienvenidos. We welcome back the, the women of our parish. Uh, they just got off their um, retreat, and they're alive with energy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's all get energized at this Mass, okay? Just everybody get energized. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you suffered our sins and opened the way to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you were put to death and released us from the power of sin and death. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent by the Holy Spirit to be our advocate and guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion this day of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Christ, and that what we receive in remember, we live in remembrance may always hold to us what you, what you ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. 
when they had heard it and saw the signs he was doing for unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out many possessed of many possessed people and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured there was great joy in the city now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God they sent them Peter and John who went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit for it had not yet fallen upon them they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus then they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit verbum domine Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O oh, sing to the glory of his name. O oh, render him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Before you, all the earth shall bow down, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, awesome his deeds among the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land, they pass through the river on foot. Let our joy then be in him. He rules forever by his might. Let all the cry out to God with joy. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell them what he did for my soul. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold from me his merciful love. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pedro. Hermanos, veneren en sus corazones a Cristo el Señor, dispuesto siempre a dar, al que las pidiere, las razones de la esperanza de ustedes, pero háganlo con sencillez y respeto, estando en paz con su conciencia. Así quedarán avergonzados los que denigran la conducta cristiana de ustedes. Pues mejor es padecer haciendo el bien, si tal es la voluntad de Dios, que padecer haciendo el mal. Porque también Cristo murió, una sola vez y para siempre, por los pecados de los hombres. Él, el justo por nosotros, los injustos, para llevarnos a Dios, murió en su cuerpo y resucitó glorificado. Palabra de Dios.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, just to clear any doubts of those of you who are liturgically studied, I am not concelebrating with Monsignor. I'm a deacon. Monsignor is obviously a priest. Priests celebrate, deacons serve. That's about as far as I go, and I'm not going to have to over-explain myself with that one. Just wanted to make things clear. Now, my brothers and sisters, this week, we see in all of the readings the importance given to having received the Spirit in our lives, and to not only guide us, but to make us whole. You see, we start off our lives, especially as young Catholics, being baptized. And then years later, usually as a teen in today's society, we are confirmed by the bishop. This confirmation is done so that we can affirm for ourselves as young adults that we believe, that we trust in God's will for us, and that we accept those gifts of the Holy Spirit to be used for all the world, for all of humanity. We are granted all the gifts at that time by our own free will, the gifts of wisdom and understanding, counsel and fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Now the task is at hand that we make them a part of our life. In other words, that we live as if we are truly given these gifts and use them wisely for our own well-being and that of the whole world. God loves us so much that he sends and wills his spirit over each of us. In the first reading, we see how important it is for us to receive that spirit now, those of you who have been to Jerusalem, you've been taken, hopefully, to the road to Samaria. And you can see where Peter and the other apostle, John, walked to go baptize, to give confirmation to those who were baptized there. Now, just to give you an idea so that you can have a, a mental picture of this, they traversed arid and dangerous land to get from point A to point B, only to repeat it again to return back to Jerusalem. In those days, there were no cars, there were no buses, there were no trains. And it was usually a trail walked through canyons and desert. This is round trip. This is the trip that these two men made to ensure that the people in Samaria had received those gifts of the Holy Spirit 
the same gifts that are given to us this day when the bishop or the priest in his name imposes hands on us and it confirms us and grants us something special, something more, something extraordinary, something that it has no explanation other than God loves us so much that he wants our will to accept him, to accept his love. Now these gifts come to great use when we're asked to explain our faith, like it says in the second reading. When we go and we're finally presented with the question, why do I have so much hope in my life? Well, my brothers and sisters, we have this hope because Jesus came. We have this hope because he revealed the truth of the gospel for us. We have this hope because he gave us two commandments to follow. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. The same spirit in that second reading also brought to life Christ. And in the same way that hovered over him at his own very baptism, and the one and the same in the gospel, that same spirit of truth. So how did the spirit give Christ life? Because a lot of you are probably wondering if this happened at his resurrection. No, this happened the moment that he was conceived. Because my brothers and sisters, if we go back to those nativity readings during the Christmas spirit, right? Or the pre-Christmas spirit, we hear when the spirit comes over the blessed mother, and he makes Jesus a part of her life, a part of who she is going to be for the rest of history, our mother, our blessed mother, Mary. She accepted the Spirit fully in her heart, and her trust in him was so fervent that she said yes, yes to being the living tabernacle of the Savior of the world, her son, Jesus Christ. St. Augustine wrote in his sermon on the Gospel of John, Mary is the model of obedience to the will of God and knows well that it, what it means to base one's life in the plan of God's history. He goes on to talk about her abandonment to self, saying, due to the love that she had for him and his only son. Origen, in his homily of the Songs of Songs, wrote, Mary found refuge under the wings of the Most High, and looking at her, our hearts can become a welcoming manger so that Jesus may be born in us and through us into the world. Mary, the mother of God, the mother of Jesus, the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit, became the example that all mothers should strive for. So on this day, which we celebrate Mother's Day, we would like to celebrate all mothers who by life and example have become conduits of love of the same spirit that Mary met and followed, who in one way or another pointed their children down the road of life, prepared to accept what has come what may come and what is still to come, with her wisdom, her knowledge, and her love. This extends to those who are mother by proxy, either by legal or spiritual adoption, who serve as guideposts in life to all who need a warm embrace, a gentle smile, a tear once in a while, and an unbound love. To all moms, May the Spirit of the Lord be upon you, grant you a wonderful life and a day of peace and quiet. Excuse me, no, I mean peace and serenity. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And may your families understand the true gem that you have and that you are as moms in their lives. The Lord provides us with eternal joy until he comes again in providing us the Eucharistic banquet of life by his own blood and body. And also, dare I say, providing those in need a mom, someone to carry them in their arms in times of need and when we are lost. 
I've had several moms in my life. One of them was a sister, Sister Mildred, a nun who during my young adult life served as an example of what a woman of God looks like. And in turn, I married a woman of God because I saw in Marta what I saw in Sister Mildred, a woman who loves God and puts God first. On this day, we also greet our sisters, mothers, and not-so-mothers who are reading, returning from their retreat. And for them, I'm changing channels. Gracias, mis hermanas, por decir que sí al retiro. Y espero que al salir, conozcan, aunque sea un poco mejor, el amor que Dios, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo tiene por ti, como nos dice Jesús en el Evangelio. Al que me ama a mí, lo, amaré, lo amará mi Padre, yo también lo amaré y me manifestaré a Él. Esta manifestación se hizo completamente también en uno que duda con, como algunas de ustedes al ser llamadas a, por Dios mismo para este retiro. Y ahora lo conocen como María, la reina del cielo y la tierra, quien fue madre por obra y gracia del Espíritu Santo. Así también ustedes se sientan reinas por el amor que proveen sin ningún interés por sus hijos y sus hijas. Sabemos que Dios tiene un lugar especial por su madre y así también cada una de sus hijas también tendrán un lugar especial. Sin la madre no hay vida y sin la vida no hay amor, ya que el amor se derrama desde el vientre de la madre literalmente a su bebé y nos guía en todo momento en la vida. El amor de Dios Padre y Hijo Espíritu Santo y que ese Espíritu siempre se derrame sobre ustedes. Que este día de regreso al mundo sea uno lleno de bendiciones y gran amor, y que sepan siempre que Dios la hizo a ustedes reinas de un reinado, en su hogar y de su comunidad, y que siempre deben ser tratadas así, tanto las casadas como las no casadas, las solteronas. Vi en un artículo de Catholic.net algo que me dice así. Como madre, la mujer cristiana santifica al hombre hijo. Como hija, ella edifica al hombre padre. Como hermana, ella mejora el hombre hermano. Y como esposa, ella santifica al hombre esposo. ¿Quién nos dijo quien nos dio a San Bernardo, la madre de San Bernardo lo dice, quien nos dio a San Bernardo y lo hizo tan puro, tan fuerte, tan abrazado de amor por su Dios, fue su madre, Alet. Una madre es íntegra en la formación de su iglesia doméstica, sea en el hogar o sea en su comunidad. Que el Espíritu Santo que sintieron este fin de semana la siga guiando en toda la vida para que tengan una mejor comprensión y sobre todo que se siempre y siempre sientan amadas. Switching back. The bibliography of St. Bernard says, Who gave us St. Bernard and made him so pure, so strong, and so engulfed in the love of God, his mother, Aleth. Behind every man, woman, or child that has a strong foundation in faith, there's a queen in their household, and that queen has a name. Her name and title is Mother. May all mothers today feel appreciated and loved. Mili, my mom, I love you, always will. Marta, my queen, I love you and always will. That you deserve everything in life because you give all of yourself to me and many. May this Mother's Day remind us of those still with us 
and those who have already been called home, whom we dedicate a moment of silence for in their honor. May their memory remind us of what a true queen looks like. And when we look upon the queen of heaven and earth, our mother, Mary, may she remind us that we can live inspired by the very spirit of God if we accept his will over our own. Happy Mother's Day, and may God bless us all. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. <coughs> Under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. He was against the church. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed with the Holy Spirit, we have an advocate who is always with us. Let us entrust our needs to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For the church, that we may be always receptive to the movement of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our lawmakers, that they be granted the wisdom and courage to uphold conscience rights and protect all people from being forced to violate their moral and religious convictions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, that they may be supported and encouraged in their special vocation of love for others and may their children honor their many sacrifices by lives of service and virtue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers who await the birth of a child, especially those present here today, that the Lord protect all unborn sons and daughters and bring them to a safe delivery. We also pray for all married couples who are struggling with infertility, that the Lord grant them peace as they hope for the gift of a child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children of our parish who this weekend for the first time received the Lord Jesus in Holy Communion, may they love him with all their hearts and forever live faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Building Bright Future Campaign and the Diocesan Services Fund in our parish of St. Vincent de Paul and throughout the Archdiocese, May the Holy Spirit move us to a deeper commitment to help others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers who have died, and for Deacon Ernie Abadejos and Luis Morones, Jr., who have kept the commandments of Jesus on earth, that the Lord may reveal himself to them in the glory of heaven. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way at this Mass for all the mothers and our parishioners and for the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. In your great love, O God, you have gathered the people of the world as a parent embraces a child with loving kindness. Grant to us, your children, as an ever deeper fidelity to your commandments, that we will live with the spirit of reverence for all peoples. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please join us in the hymn in the preparation of the gifts. It's number 527. I know that my Redeemer lives, found in the gather hymnal as well as the worship aid.
Let us pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Sacrifice in my hands. May our praise rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For us, by defending us, and ever pleads our, our, pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory they acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Jesus, my Lord and my God. A mystery of faith. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Holy Father, Daniel, our bishop, his assisting bishop, Italo, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Vincent de Paul, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to be in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. They are daily bread and give us our trust. <laughs> Temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Behold 
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us, the hymn and the communion, this gift of finest wheat, number 940 in the gathered hymnal or in the worship aid.
please join us in singing number 920, Pande Vida, number 920. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruit of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of your saving food through Christ our Lord. As you know, we have a program going on here about the uh, vocations and praying for vocations and the uh, creation crucifix. And we have a family here, uh, Silvia Quinones and family. Come up and receive. Uh oh. <laughs> Silvia Quinones? Silvia Quinones and family. Family? Ay, caramba. <laughs> mm, well. <laughs> huh? 
did she take it? C. Okay. Benga? Every day at home for vocations from your family, your friends, even your enemies, pray for them, okay? Yeah. And then bring it back on Saturday, Sabado, okay? Sabado? Si. A la oficina. A la oficina, okay. Okay, okay. gracias. gracias. We encourage all of our families to uh, pray for vocations in this vocation crucifix. It has little prayers in it, and uh, to just take it for one week, get it on, receive it on uh, Sunday, and then bring it back on Saturday. And uh, you can do this, and you can do the sign up genius. Uh, genius. You go on the website, and you can actually say, "Well, I'd like to do this, and what week you're going to do it, etc." So please check that out. You see. I'd also like to special thanks for Sean's mom on this day. I think she's here today. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, well, for your son and raising him in a good manner and also for all those who are involved in his life. Um, we, he, he's a seminarian, and uh, we're praying for him, and God bless him and his journey. Hey, Sean. And, and as you can tell, he really loves the attention. <laughs> uh, this summer, Sean will be working here and uh, uh, living here at the rectory and doing some things ar around the parish. It's one of the parts of the uh, seminary uh, formation, etc. So we're going to happy to have him. Uh, and I'm going to make you work really hard. Okay. <laughs> A group of parishioners uh, received, uh, joined together to uh, create a $1 million matching gift to get us over the finish line for our new building. Uh, so every dollar that you give gets doubled because of this particular pledge. But it has to be made or donated by May 31st. Okay, so the pledge or the do donation itself. You, thank you for those who have responded to this this last week to the call of matching gift. So we encourage you really to do that, and it's going to be a wonderful building, a wonderful addition for our parish. So let's kind of make it go over the top. That would be really, really good. Are you interested in becoming Catholic or learning more about the Catholic faith? Do you know someone who is? We are about to begin a, a new small group. There's a, an informational meeting on Monday, May 15th, uh, at 7 p.m. in the Family Center. Just kind of talk to Laura at the Office of Faith Formation. And we can bring this wonderful faith, you know, and we, can, we have reasons for our hope, as we heard in that second reading. We, we have reasons, and, and that's such a great thing. It's not just rules and regulations. It's a whole community that's called together by God. That's what he's asking us, not to be lone wolves. You cannot uh, find in the Bible anything that says, thou shalt be alone. God doesn't say that. God says to be in community. So we want to bring more people into the, to the love of the gospel. And join the Knights of Columbus this Tuesday, May 16th at 7 p.m., in the Family Center for a meeting that is open to all men of the parish to discuss uh, insurance, investment plans, uh, and it's uh, Knights of Columbus have been doing this now for well over 100 years, and they're one of the better companies uh, in the country. So we encourage you uh, guys to, to come and, and just hear about that and listen about that. What? One more announcement. One more announcement. If you like spending time with your, with your brother deacon, and uh, I hope you do, um, we are going to uh, do a pilgrimage, Marian pilgrimage, where we'll go to Europe next year. Uh, this will be um, June the 13th through the 28th, 15 days. Uh, we're going to go to Lourdes, Fatima, 
Uh, we're going to go to Montserrat, Avila. We're going to go to Barcelona, Madrid. Then we're flying to Medjugorje. We're going to go to Medjugorje, and then we're flying from Medjugorje back to Houston. If you're interested, there are flyers in the Monsignor Jamel Center. Uh, I wholeheartedly invite you to sign up. Um, it is going to be a wonderful time. Not so you can spend time with me. That's opposite of what he just did. Um, but I really do want to be um, surrounded by parishioners on this pilgrimage, and I'd love for you to say yes. Uh, and if you can, I would love to see you there. Thank you. Now, if all of you that would uh, have your mothers here kind of put your right hand on their shoulder. Uh, your mom's shoulder. Your mom, yeah, your mom's shoulder, yes. Okay. We have a special blessing. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you give life and care for your church. Bless these women as we celebrate this day in their honor. May they be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of that faith and love shine forth. Grant, we pray, that sons and daughters may honor and appreciate them with a spirit of profound respect. May the example of Mary, mother of Jesus, inspire them to live their vocation as Christian mothers and call their children to faith. Guide and protect them in challenging times and help them to continue to trust in you all the days of their life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I know my mother had a really hard time with my brothers and sisters. I was easy. My brothers and sisters would argue that, but they're wrong. So. <laughs> but have a great Mother's Day and enjoy. And uh, all you teens and almost teens, make sure if you want to give your moms a really great present, clean your rooms. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 